Hi, I'm Jeff Syedek, designer of Battle Stations. I have always loved Starship Adventures, and I've always loved to play games like Starfleet Battles, where you get to be flying your starship, but I wanted to be on the ship. And I was so excited when I got to play Space Hulk, where you got to be on a ship, but then it didn't move. And then finally, in the early 2000s, my brother and I made a board game, Battle Stations. In Battle Stations, you're a character on board a starship, moving around and operating the starship, and your starship is also in space, moving in space. So it's simultaneous action on board the starship and action at the macro level in space. It's a cooperative game where you have up to four players working together as the crew to solve the mission and one player working as the enemy controlling everything else in the universe. It could be an enemy sh starship which I have set up here or it could be a space monster, a space anomaly or some sort of rescue mission. You never know what's going to happen. It's just like an episode of one of your favorite science fiction series. If you want to fly the ship you go to the helm. If you want to launch missiles, you go to the missile bay, or if you want to pump the engines for more power, you'll go to the engine and make an engineering check. The enemies will be doing the same thing. Each module on board the starship has a function. Engines give you power, missiles launch missiles, teleporters to go over to your ship. So if you teleport to the other ship, now you might have some personal combat going on. So this guy over here has to decide, is he gonna launch a missile to try to blow up that ship? Or is he gonna run over here now and use his blaster to try to shoot that enemy border. So it's a fairly simple game of moving around on board your ship shooting things and a fairly simple game of your ship moving around on the hex map simultaneously. So each turn the ships are going to move and then the characters are going to act. And your ships move based on how fast your ship is going. So the faster your ship's speed is, the more hexes you'll go each phase. Every time you launch a missile or fire the cannons, you use your gun's power. Every time your ship gets shot by a cannon, you use shields power. And of course, every time you maneuver, you're gonna be spending helm power. If you're out of power, you need somebody to get back to that engine and make an engineering check to pump up the engine and get more power. If somebody happens to get thrown out the airlock, then he's left floating around in space and you gotta send a rescue pod back to get him. There are rules for everything in this game, but fortunately, you don't need everything. You start off with just a simple scenario where you've got an enemy ship to fight and you're out the door and going. Each mission in the basic game teaches you more about how to play and brings you deeper and deeper into the Battle Stations universe and you get more fun stuff you can do like how do I operate a jetpack and throw grenades. Space is dangerous. You might get killed out there, but the good news is you've got a clone waiting back home to activate. Now if you die, you lose all your cool stuff like your your backpack and your jetpack and your ion bore maybe, but they'll give you a new blast pistol and a med kit with the hopes that you'll learn how to use at least one of those on your next mission. The real fun part is your character growing in power. Every time you rank up, you get more special abilities, more cool things you can do. You don't need any of the rules for anything that you're not using. If you don't have a disintegrator, you don't need that rule. So it's not like you have to read the whole 32 page book before you play. You're really playing by the time you're on page 12 and there's a lot of fluff in there too. The game starts simple with simple rules for moving around on board your starship and firing your weapon. Each scenario introduces more possibilities. By the time you finish the 32 page rulebook, you'll be able to operate each of these battle stations. You'll be able to teleport over to enemy ships. You'll know the rules for launching missiles, different kinds of missiles. You'll be able to peek into a corridor and shoot somebody, you'll be able to pop out and shoot. There's all this stuff that organically grows as you learn the game, as it goes along. Thank you so much for joining me on this amazing adventure. There are thousands of people all over the world playing Battle Stations. There's a Battle Stations Yahoo group, we should have a link here. There's a big community on Board Game Geek, and you can ask me direct questions, questions at GorillaBoardGames.com. <laughs> Overwhelming success. I've been working on Battle Stations for 16 years now, and this is a life's work for me. It's not going to be real unless you out there build your own starships and fly around the galaxy and explore it and create your own new stuff, because that for me is the best part of Battle Stations. It's when the players and the new enemies bring their own magic to the table and stuff I never even thought of 
happens in what I thought was my game because it's not really my game anymore. Now it belongs to thousands of users all over the world. Please join us.